Hi guys, if you're watching this video, you're probably experiencing a problem with your Mixed Reality headset. You've plugged in the USB and HDMI cables and you've opened the Mixed Reality portal and, wait, what? You get an error, check your display cable. Now, if you've been using your headset for a couple of days with no problems and you've not been messing with the cables, you might rightly think that you've been too aggressive with it and actually damaged the HDMI cable. Now, while that's a definite possibility, I suggest trying a few troubleshooting steps first before requesting a refund or exchange from your supplier. So first up, let's check in the device manager and see if the headset is being recognised as connected to the PC. In my case, the USB was being detected as shown, but when I expanded the monitor list, I did not see the headset listed. This is how I knew there was a problem. This is a common issue with these headsets, and it's being discussed across the forums, however, the wording of the error is a bit misleading, and the troubleshooting page that you're directed to is not much use unless you're a noob and forgot to plug in the cables. For most people, updating the graphics card driver will solve the problem, not spending hours of messing about with the cables and trying different ports, which believe me, I've done. So what you want to do is unplug your headset from the PC, both the HDMI and the USB cable. Download and install the latest graphics driver for your graphics card. Now here I'm showing how to do this with the NVIDIA Experience app, but I'll put links in the description for the NVIDIA and AMD websites where you can download the latest drivers if you don't have an app installed. Shut down the computer and wait about 10 seconds before powering it back on. Now, once you're logged back in, this is when you can reconnect the HDMI and USB cables back to the PC. The Mixed Reality Portal should automatically open and show you that the headset is ready to use. That said, sometimes I have found that these steps may not work straight away. Now if not, try waiting about 10 to 15 minutes with the PC running, and unplug and replug both the HDMI and the USB cables back into the PC. For some reason, this seems to make the headset spring to life. I, I can't explain it, but it works for me. So let me know in the comments below if this solved your problem. If not, also let me know, because I may have found a better solution in the future and I'll be able to help you. If I do, I'll probably create another video and put a link to it in this one. That said, thanks for watching and have a great day.